G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is my Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today I'll be starting a brand new playthrough of Minmax game Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat and zombies. I absolutely love this game, and it's recently went through a huge update. So, let's get to it. So, I was not expecting to have Space Pirates and Zombies 2 back on the channel so soon. However, uh, within a week of finishing the last playthrough, MinMax Games released a massive and massively awesome update to the game. And so I feel compelled to play this game once again. Let's uh, show off some of the new options. Uh, just as an aside, I'm getting over the flu at the moment, so if I seem um, a bit stuffed up or I breathe through my, my mouth a, a few too many times, just uh, be aware that's what it is. Anyway, that said, let's take a look. First of all, you can see that there are five default game modes already set up, each with their own rules. But of course, we're not going to do that. We're instead going to go and set everything up individually. Now, first up, as you can see, there are now two maps to play on. Yes, like I said, first episode of the last playthrough, it wouldn't it be nice to have a bigger map and I thought to myself that would be a selfish desire but I tell you what this entire bat <clears throat> excuse me this entire patch pretty much reads like my list of most selfish desires for this game such as map increased uh, ship size just all these little things great now my mouth's drying out Mm. So, the original galaxy only had 52 sectors. The Milky Colossus is aptly named with 200 sectors. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the galaxy we're going to play on. Okay, that is only the first of many things we have to choose from. And before we start off, I better set my timer. <laughs> because... We might be here for a while otherwise. Now, that done, let's move on with the advanced setup. First is the star map setup. Uh, tutorials we've got off. Um, now, let's have a look. Faction size, let's put that all the way down. Faction strength, again, let's put that all the way down. So factions will be their tiniest and will also be their smallest bandit population. We're going to put them all the way up so there's hives all over the map. Well, it's 200 sector galaxy, so not all over the map. But we'll put the bandit strength, C to 20. The zombies need something to fight after all. Now, zombie timer. Let's put it all the way to zero. The moment the game starts, the zombies will be in it. Starting level at zero, uh, because, uh, as I've mentioned before, unless they've changed it, of course, uh, starting at a higher level doesn't mean you start with any additional scrap. So you start off at a higher level, which gives you a few bonuses, but you can't equip yourself. So that's a very easy way to die very quickly. Extra sub cores. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. You, like I said, bigger ships now, you can decide whether you want to have them early. So right from the get-go, you can have a six-core ship. Um, you can have the th three late. Uh, so you can have 18 maximum, but you'll get the, the last three after you'd normally unlock the 15th. But of course, what we're going to choose is six late. So after we've got all 15 cores... Now we can get up to 21. Part size unlocking. 
how quickly you unlock the small, medium and large parts. We'll leave that uh, at regular. Uh, ability unlocking. I could turn that down to open up Starbase ownership earlier on, but I'll leave it since I already know when everything opens up and level 12 is fine. It'll be nice to see if I can stay alive long enough. Strikecraft unlocking. I wonder if there's an option for never. Unlocked at the start, quick, default, epic. Uh, we'll come back to that one. Hanger unlocking. Again, no, no option for never. Oh well. Command point multiplier. Uh, command points. Is that for members of your uh, faction or is that command points for your strike craft? I'm not sure. Um, perk value multiplier. Oh, that just multiplies all the perks. Um, bonuses so um, that would actually be useful right at the end of the game when all you're getting is little dribs and drabs of plus threes let's see what it goes up to whoa goes all the way up to four wow but we're gonna leave it at the default for now if I can get it back on it okay star map meta in all player level, yep, 5 is the usual. That's my period of grace before everything on the map starts killing me. Leveling speed, what we'll do is we'll turn that up. What is that? There's fast and there's sprint. We'll turn that up to fast uh, because, as you know, the last game took forever. Uh, perks per level, that's just how many perks show up for you to choose from. Uh, so we'll leave that at 3 small part tech okay so you can uh, change how many sectors are required for small parts to be available at star bases which is interesting but there was one thing i noticed uh, last game the new custom order feature yeah you um don't need to have attached star bases to your home base in order to order certain parts the moment you have your own star base you can order any large part from any faction which is a bit silly i know they cost five times as much but you should still need to have the um the correct amount of star bases such as uh four star bases for a large nose or what have you sorry four um nose star bases in order to get a large nose but anyway i'm rambling about that that's just a thing i noticed max sh uh, ship speed that's the ship speed on the star map i'll just leave that as the default uh chase range this is how long the npcs will chase you i believe or oh it's no it's how far um a way you have to be before they start chasing fair enough battle warm-up I have no idea what that is and I have no idea how many units that is that 15 seconds 15 milliseconds no idea sales tax that's just the markup um, multiplier for every item at star bases Ooh, combat global damage excellent so you can just up everything or decrease everything if you want um, okay wait a sec I just thought of something though if you lower the global damage too much without uh, yes without lowering the shields everybody's shields would regenerate too quickly you'd never be able to get somebody's shields down um, because even if you did they just start regenerating so quickly as you saw when I tried to attack that big R star base uh, last playthrough, um, when I only had level two parts. Okay, so we'll leave all these at the default. Synergy damage. Can you turn that off? Oh, 1.5. Sucked in. Sorry, in case I didn't make it clear last playthrough, I'm not a fan of the. Si oh, damn, there goes my throat again. Okay. <clears throat> I 
I'm not a fan of the synergy system. Uh, two reasons. Um, synergy, if, you, if you're using, for instance, a 5x3 setup on your ship, you can pretty much turn on a dime and the ship has an excellent power to weight ratio. Um, but because you've got so few parts, you can only pretty much play the ship in a limited number of ways. And not only do I find that not enjoyable, I definitely find it um, unwatchable, or I believe users find it unwatchable. And the second reason is, it makes for the most boring fucking ships in the game. Like one of the, the best things about this game is being able to build interesting ships. And nobody wants a brick in space. So yeah, synergy, not my thing. So I will turn that all the way down. And the NPC captains can suck my something. Just in case I have younger viewers. Okay, strike craft. Ooh, strike craft. What is star damage? Oh, the multiplier per star for strike craft. Okay. So, I can turn this all the way down. Okay, to 0 0.04. And that way, there won't be as much damage um, for the stronger strike craft. Which means there won't be such a jump in the late game. And where was that other option? Strike craft. Here it is. Strike craft unlocking. How quickly larger strike craft will unlock. We'll put that up to epic. So they should be weaker and the large ones should be available later. So maybe that might deal with the strike craft problem a little bit. I did notice on the Steam discussions page that um, while a few people like the Strikecraft to how they are, a lot more people hate them basically. And it looks like what the developers are going to do is strengthen the early game Strikecraft a little so that they're not basically target drones and weaken the large star. Did I say Starcraft? <laughs> the large strike craft at the end of the game. Okay, so we can also up the armor multiplier, the repair. I had no idea the armor repaired in battle to start with. It does? It does, apparently. Well, okay, shield, uh, reinitialization time. Um, okay, I might leave all of these as they're. Oh. Missile health, interesting, could make it harder to kill missiles, which also reminds me another thing about this update. Um, flat cannons have been nerfed quite a bit. Now they work more like a flat cannon. The cloud uh, of flak does not necessarily hit every object going through it, you know, whether it's a missile or a fighter or what have you. And uh, they've also... I can't remember if they said they've decreased the damage for the flak or they've increased the strength of missiles. So um, the flak won't automatically hit all missiles going through it and it won't automatically kill all missiles that it hits. So there is once again a reason uh, for the point to fit, sorry, for the minigun. There is a reason once again to have a minigun. Of course, you still want to have a flak cannon in order to destroy um, bombers that are further out. Anyway, I'll shut up. And what other choices we've got? Zombie war. Okay, so the alpha strength, the higher that is, the more work we need to do before we can take him on uh, and attack the zombie capital. We'll put that all the way up this time. Uh, okay, this is how much it... It goes up for every additional zombie sector. I better not play with that because we're playing 200 sectors. And with all the other settings I've got, there's a chance that the zombies just overrun everything. Uh, infected asteroid, cha asteroid chance. We'll leave that at 20. Now, the ambush chance, again, I don't know um, if they've changed it. But it doesn't matter anyway because... This game starting off 
with the infection already taken hold, but I will put it all the way down to 2%, so it's just not happening continually like the Asteroids last game, as you can probably remember. Now, resources. Okay, so we can change all sorts of things, how long it takes to harvest, uh, how long it takes a resource node to fill. I assume that's in seconds. Uh, maximum size for res node, uh, scrap node, and a goon node. And res harvest rate, goon harvest rate, and scrap harvest rate. Uh, oh, that might be for your own personal star basis. This might be how much you get per second. I don't know because. No, it couldn't be that. I have no idea what these values are for, considering it already says up here harvest time 10, unless it's a further multiplier on top of the regular harvest time. Not sure. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, raids. Um, I'll leave the raids as they are, actually, because raids, other than, you know, stopping the occasional raid, uh, it's not something I, I really get into a lot. It, uh, it's basically it um, lets you steal resources, but um, yeah, most of the time, because the capital, your capital, tends to be in the middle of a network of um, other faction members, you yourself don't get raided. So most of the time, any raids you fight off are in the territories of fellow faction members. And so you don't really see the results of the raids, or at least I don't anyway. Cloaking, you can change how uh, cloaking on the star map works. And miscellaneous, uh, starbase build time. Um, yeah, I might put that up a bit actually. Because that'll stop people just swooping in after a starbase has been destroyed and building a new one straight away, because that gets annoying. Uh, infection spread rate, uh, that's for an infected part. Uh, goons per subcore, that's how many goons you need to run every subcore. Ship repair time, how long it takes to repair the ship on the star map. Uh, disinfect time, the same. Goon res consumption, how much res... Okay, goons take res. Of course they do, yeah. Um, and how much res per part, discovery reward, that's how much XP per sector. I thought that was 100 XP per sector. Uh, must only be 10, I could have swore it was 100. Uh, ambient event duration, uh, that's for mining ops, cost for moving capital, starbase repair time, and avoid province time. What's that? How long a captain will avoid resources in a province once told to leave? Fair enough. Okay, so... Um, just in case something goes... Okay, I don't get to name it. Fair enough. Doesn't matter. I was going to just save it as... Probably YouTube playthrough 2 <laughs> or something anyway. Let's get on with the game. Okay, we'll leave um, difficulty level as normal because I think that just throws off all the settings uh, for weapon damages and everything. And I don't like artificially changing stuff like that. I'd rather uh, make the campaign itself harder, which I've just done. Let's get on with it. Um, this is, yes, synthesized voices. Skip. Skip. Skip, or close I should say, we can, okay, so let's zoom all the way, holy fuck, what was I thinking, will you look at that monstrosity, holy shit, <laughs> look at that, oh my god, galactic core, okay, well, zombies, okay, they don't actually, start spawned on the map they come in in 10 seconds <laughs> hopefully they don't come in right next to me what's in my personal sector here anyway oh a pirate base already um okay there's some wreckage oh that's decent scrap actually 
So, let's begin the long process. <laughs> Darkness looms, it's not going to take long. In fact, by the time I finish scavenging this wreckage... Yes, the zombie outbreak has begun. Okay, scavenge some more goons and some more scrap, why not? Okay, no, we don't want the rest of those goons. What do we got over here? 210 scrap? Boy. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take to, you know, do the exploring, do the scavenging. So what I might do is I might uh, cut pieces out of it and just come back to it if something really interesting happens. But I can't say for sure. So, did I just pick up a whole bunch of goons? Yes, I did. Why did I do that? Okay, this guy's going after some res. Let's zoom back out. Okay, we might as well go to the outer edge of the galaxy and have a look what's going on out there and get ourselves some, you know, experience while we're at it. Okay, nothing much going on over here. More pirates. Holy shit. Three sectors and three... I get the feeling there's going to be pirates in every sector. What was I thinking? Oh, the things I do. Yep, pirates here as well. Okay, we've only got a little bit of res, a bit of scrap. Not worth coming all the way down here though. Let's go along. We need to get enough scrap to get ourselves some new stuff. Now, of course, at present, we have, I assume, three junk cores. Yep, 60, so three junk cores. Ooh, ooh, full scrap. Let's go over there. Come on, stay away, pirates. Stay away, stay away. I'm under level five. You can't attack me yet. Okay, let's harvest all 400. Haha, uh -huh, I got there first. Okay, might as well take this 109. Now, I will need, of course, as always, some miniguns to fight off missiles because... Oh, that's another thing. Um, apparently, they have made the missiles stronger because, obviously, the missiles, other than ion SRMs right at the start of the game... Um, the missiles weren't of much use. Okay, I've got so many goons. I really need to sell them off somewhere. And I also need to get myself some res somewhere. What I might do, actually, I'll pop up over this border. And just have a peeky-boo here. There we go. Anything interesting in the hatch? No. Okay. Let's continue fumbling our way along the edge of the galaxy and hope we don't run into any zombies. And we'll scan this in. And we might as well run down here, pick up some more scrap. Okay, we're getting a decent amount of scrap. Um, like I said, we'll want some miniguns. I reckon we'll want some shotguns as well. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much imperative that by the time we hit level 5, we have some useful stuff. Let's just pop over here and do this sector as well. Oh, yep, you wouldn't read about it. Here we go. Got to pop up here, scan this in, get the XP, and everything else it gives me. Yes, 25 res, 30 XP, 100 scrap, which should put me up a level. Okay, part size. Uh, small parts, so I no longer need to use just junk parts. Plus, I um, have to pick from one of these three, just in case you've never seen this game before at all. When you go up a level, sometimes you will get um, free perks, as they call them, which are basically assured perks you get upon attaining certain levels, such as level one, access to small parts that aren't junk. Uh, level 12, you get to build your own starbase and found your own faction. Okay, anyway, uh, shield strength, armor, and health. Shield strength every time. 
let's keep going over here. Oh, then again, I'm so close to this border. Let's go here, here, and then over here. No, my luck, there'll be some stuff I need to scan in. What, what is that? That is just goons. Pirates going off on their little raiding expedition. Uh, oh, is that res full? It's nearly full. Come on. Nobody pick it up. Come on. Come on. 117. Let's just wait, wait, wait. And start glowing. Start glowing. Come on. There we go. And 240 res. We have fuel for days. Well, minutes. We have fuel for minutes. Okay, scan this in. And then let's pop across the border into this sector. And we still haven't come across a faction, but that's no surprise considering we're playing in a 200 sector galaxy and I chose minimum faction size. In hindsight, I'm probably a moron, aren't I? Okay. Now, maybe I should have went down to that res pile. No. Too late. Too late. You made your bed. Lie on it. What do we got? Jace 55. I still can't believe that... Um, the two, I'm fairly sure there's only two people. The two people at MinMax Games implemented all these things. I, I had no idea they were even working on any of these things. And the fact that, you know, they're all part of my most selfish dreams <laughs> is just awesome. 200 Sector Galaxy. I wonder how long they've been working on this in the wings, not telling anybody. Or at least, I hadn't heard anything about it. Then again, I'm a moron, so maybe it's been mentioned a hundred times. Um, nope, not enough res there to bother about. What do we got here? Just pirates. God, with so many act so many actors, so many empty sectors, um, zombies should be just spreading out everywhere. The only thing that will slow them down is uh, zombies can only spread to new sectors via the zombie alpha. And that scrap pile is slowly filling up. Wonder if I can risk waiting. Yeah, might as well risk waiting. Oh. Actually, if I'm going to wait, let's put that down to uh, null res burn, which is probably a bit cheaty. But I'm fairly sure if you don't do it before you start waiting, you get charged whatever speed that you've got it set to. Come on, just a... There we go. Harvest 400. Haha, <laughs> I beat you. Okay. Now... Let's just pop across the border into this sector. We'll have a peeky boo. Yeah, not a great deal. That res is not... Oh, 51. Yeah, it's worth it. Res is res. <gasps> oh, do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I see a faction member. Oh, yes. Is there a... Nope, no knowledge to scan, but we can sell off these goons. Because I have lots of goons and I won't be needing them for a while. Okay, so let's hire to quit parts, especially considering that. Actually, let's check. Um, 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 what was I going to check? Oh, that's right, the micro missiles. I've detected a flaw in my plan. <laughs> I don't actually remember what the micro missile stats were last time around. And without that vital bit of knowledge, I can't really tell you if they've improved or not. So, uh, that said, I'm going to sell off some goons. Uh, 215. 215, 215. Ah, come on. No, okay, 214. 
There we go. And we now have extra scrap, which is always nice. I like scrap. Wait, wait, wait. Is this faction member even going to win this battle? Ah, oh, there's two of them. Probably is. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Okay, so you're... Holy shit! Look at all these pirates! What have I done? <laughs> I have doomed the world to zombies and piracy! <laughs> oh my god! Look at this! This is insane! What was I thinking? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, uh, Galaxy of the Damned. Okay. Oh, surprise, surprise. More pirates. Okay, well, there's something I want to pick up. But first, yet again, we'll nip across, actually. Looks like green's going to expand into there. We'll pick this up. Pick that up. Scan that in. I was about to say, maybe I should pop over there. But that would be silly. That would be silly. Let's pop over here, scan this in. And up we go to here. Okay, what have we got going on? <gasps> Look at what I found. Oh, bugger. Um, reactor trading. Reactor! Okay, so this isn't the zombie capital. But, let's pop on over here. We have filthy infected mm. targets on radar. <laughs> filthy infected targets on radar. Uh, zombie Alpha killed somebody there. And there's a clone farm behind it. And another clone farm. Jesus, there's people everywhere. Well, I'm still under level 5, so I can get away with just harvesting this. Oh, damn, that pirate's even coming in. Um, okay, I assume this one, yep. <gasps> That's the zombie capital. Okay. Oh, okay. This one isn't infected. I wonder about them too. Should I go check them too? Yeah, let's go check them too. Okay. Okay, that one's free of infection. And so is this one. Oh, you are kidding me. That was not 30 minutes. No way in hell. I must have spent so much time talking about, you know, the sliders and what they all did. That that was 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Nah. Okay. One last thing before I end this. I'm going to go over here and we're going to have a look and see if the zombies have spread up this way. Damn. Look at all that purple. Oh, is that? Yep, that's the zombie alpha. He's... no? Okay, he probably just went and killed somebody. Yep, threat 120. Whoa. He's out hunting. Looks like he's probably going to spread his filth to this star base here. But, for me, that isn't a concern. I'm only level 2, and... I am still in my period of grace. And my major concern is, of course, to get as much scrap as possible, to build up my ship as much as possible before I do have to tangle with zombies and pirates. Well, I think I'm going to have to call it there. Not that I want to. But um, join me once again in the Galaxy of Doom next time. Sadly, that's all I've got time for. Fair warning, the first few episodes will be a little grindy, although next time I'll try to skip some of it rather than just talk through it. Give me your thoughts down below, I'd especially like to hear your thoughts on the new sandbox options, and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and most importantly, have a good one! <laughs>